Um, did, did Dallas just win that game? Because I might need some confirmation. Because that Dallas was dead in the water. And then here comes Dirk. And they win in overtime? This this was weird. And, and man, guys, I, you know, when, when, when KD hit that shot, when Carlson got the rebound and can KD hit that shot to send, to keep uh, put OKC up three point uh, fifteen points, I was just like, that's it, that's it. You know, uh, we we didn't deserve it. You know, definitely by the, the rebound total, I think they beat us by twenty some or over twenty uh, rebounds, and that was pathetic. I mean, that the whole game, I was just upset with the way Dallas would have three blue shirts underneath the basket and and OKC would have one white, and they would almost always get it. Uh, at one point, they had 35 op- shots and 22 offensive rebounds. It was stupid. But nobody cares about that now. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki, who in the second quarter had 17 points, and he ended up with 22 points in the first half, and then just disappeared in the third quarter. Uh, had four points. I and mean, really most of the fourth quarter, he wasn't there. And then here he comes <laughs> at the end. When we're down 15 points, they get him in the game. It wasn't just Dirk, but he was the one that was the driving for it and comes out and just puts on another show, man. And it's, it's it, He's showing, you know, I talked to my buddy at the game, man, Dirk, Dirk wants this bad, and you can tell. And this was, this was one of those defining moments in his career. And to, to take two away from OKC on the road, uh, the first game, you know, and I'm sorry about that. I didn't make videos about the last two games. Um, I've been, I, I just graduated from UT. Um, here's the um, UT ring, hook and horns. Um, so I've been busy with that. But, um, you know, the last two games, uh, you know, we we lost, you know, game two. But in game three, that was Dallas's game. And I know that OKC came back there in the end, but Dallas took care of business that game. This was Oklahoma City's game. This was their game to, to win. And this was just like game three against the Lakers. Um, the entire game, Dallas was getting their butts kicked. They stayed in it just close enough just to make it interesting. But it, it was it seemed to be a, a foregone conclusion that Dallas was going to lose. And then just like game three against the Lakers, they find someone, this time it was Dirk, to show up, go on a 17-2 run at the end of the fourth quarter to tie the game at 101-101. And then get a big shot from Jason Kidd in the, in the overtime period to go up by three and then get a good stop. And they win. So Dallas is up 3-1 to one in the series. I had reserved the, the fact that this was going to be 2-2. I mean, it's just, it's, it feels weird right now because it's like this, was our, this game was already over. This was, this was going to be 2-2 going back to Dallas. And Dallas <laughs> reached down and, and grabbed this one from who knows where. And you could just see, you know, for some, and, and for Mavericks fans, this should be really, really satisfying um, just because – this has been done to us so many times. So many times that we've seen the Mavs um, be up big or have a game under control just to lose it in the fourth quarter. This team has turned around on people in these playoffs, and it's a different team. It's a new team. It's a new mentality um, headed by Dirk Nowitzki. So, uh, and, and Sean Marion needs to get some props too. Sean Marion, especially there at the end, playing great defense on KD, um, not letting him get anything easy. And, and, and Jason Kidd, smart as he is, you know, knowing how to, and crafty as well, you know, getting those steals, uh, calling timeout when he needs to, and making great passes and a big shot there at the end. Um, just overall great job there at the end. Most frustrating game I've seen in the playoffs almost, maybe except for the Portland game in game four um, of that series. But uh, this one was really frustrating. And then at the end, <laughs> they pulled it out. So way to go, Dallas Mavericks. Let's finish them off in five. I'm saying I was saying that I thought this thing could go four or five. I didn't feel that way today, um, but it definitely can now. So let's go, Mavs. Let's close them out because the Thunder are still a very dangerous team. They've stuck with us almost every single game. It's been a tough game almost every time, um, and they got great scores. So let's see this quickly so we can get some rest before we head to the finals. But got to get through this one first. So we'll see you guys later, and let's go, Mavs. <laughs>